Hey Aquarius, this is your July 2020 reading. I'm going to start off with a song or a quote. You have Bjork, Violently Happy. Come calm me down before I get into trouble. You have the waning crescent moon. Banishing, expulsion, endings, cutting ties. So maybe something is ending, a way of being. Maybe you're ending it with a person. Maybe you're ending a habit. Aquarius. Achaia. Tree. Speaks of protection. Trust that you are being given the support and protection that you crave, even if you are not yet aware of this. Your sensitivity is heightened at the moment, giving you deep insights into the world and people around you. So maybe you know someone has violent tendencies or they fluctuate between violent and happy. Uh, the needle, forgiveness. And you've got the starling. Speaks of find strength and social community and achieve your goals. So maybe you, it's just you putting an end to something and you're protected and very happy. The needle symbolizes forgiveness. This card will pave the way to forgiveness. This forgiveness will not be easy. It will be prickly and hard work. Think about how the needle works. It threads and binds, but along the way you will likely get pricked. Takes hard work and persistence for true forgiveness. And once you forgive, you can forgive, cut ties, be happy, you're protected, and put your focus on your goals. So you and how you're feeling right now. You've got the Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So possible heartbreak. Because you're ending something, somebody's ending something, but that leads to happiness. Or maybe heartbreak over a committed relationship or you're in love or somebody's in love with you. Let's see what the other person gets. They've got the Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So it looks like they're telling you they are walking away or going away, but to me it's temporary and it's fake and they just kind of want to call you back in. Maybe you're happy there. Walking away. Let's see what you think about the relationship. We've got the Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So, uh, two queens. Sincere friend. So maybe ending something that was um, where somebody could have by could have been betrayed. Beginning something new in love. Maybe you're ending it with a Queen of Cups and beginning with a Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. 
good fortune. But a time of stagnation. Maybe you're waiting to do this. With this person's thinking. We've got the Seven of Pentacles on their side also, so they're also waiting. Three of Cups for an invitation. And they think you're moving very slowly. That's what they think about the relationship. We got the Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. I uh, got the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, so they're wanting to work on it. But maybe they're working on their money. Outcome. Aquarius, you're moving. I don't know if you're traveling, you're moving, you're journeying, moving towards them possibly, communicating with them. You are determined and are moving away from something, communicating that you're about to get into something new, possibly. And they've got the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Their outcome is they're communicating their confusion or they're communicating that they have options. I've got the Ace of Swords twice, which means great opportunity or great misery. Let's get an outcome card. Aquarius, July 2020. The initiator. Only you can welcome the next phases. Whatever seemed dormant begins to move rapidly now. Whatever the outcome, be sure that it will involve change. A move of place, job, or condition of life is being heralded. Being part of things is better than standing aside. Keyword, initiate. So, like I said here, you are determined to move. You're determined for movement. Good luck, Aquarius.